I'm going to figure out what x is here. So what we'll do is we'll get a common denominator on the left, which is going to be 6. Well, I'll do it like this. 2 quantity 3 minus 1 times quantity x plus 1 all over 2x plus 1. This can be equal to, well, 1 over 3x plus 3. All right, so um, what we got here ends up being 6, 6 minus x minus 1, which is equal to um, 5 minus x all over 2x plus 2 is equal to 1 over 3x plus 3. Um, do a couple things here. We can reciprocate everything, or we can just cross multiply. Um, we can just cross multiply, so we get 5 minus x times 3x plus 3 is equal to 2x plus 2. And uh, furthering this, we get 15x minus, or plus um, 15 minus 3x squared minus 3x. So then we get, well, all this is equal to 2x plus 2 still. All right, so negative 3x squared plus 12x plus 15 is equal to 2x plus 2. Uh, negative 3x squared plus 10x plus 13 equals 0. All right, so pull that negative 1. 3x squared minus 10x minus 13 equals 0. All right, so what this can factor to is negative 1 quantity 3x minus 13, and then x plus 10 equal, not 10, uh, 1. So this means x is going to be equal to 13 over 3, or negative 1. And that's it.